Hello, Spreadsheets class. Um, today is June 18th, and the assignments for modules 5 and 6 are due today. And I'm looking at the SAM grade book, and I do not see a lot of assignments being uploaded, so I wanted to check in and make sure you guys weren't getting far behind. Uh, so go, you, go into SAM, and you'll go to your activity, not the activity calendar, but the activity list, and you'll see your activities there, and you'll see, hopefully, submitted uh, through module six by the end of the day. Uh, if you see something that says not attempted, that means you have a zero in the SAM gradebook for modules one through four, and that includes the exams. So if you have a zero for an exam, that's going to pull your grade down. And I know you're wondering, how do I know my grade, Mr. Freeman? How do I know my grade? Well, go in the gradebook, click the section, and you're going to see all your grades listed. Shouldn't be any surprise, and I think yours will have a final grade at the bottom, hopefully, so you can see what your final score is. So it says final score, that, it's not at the bottom, it's at the top. It says NA, for me, for you, it should have an average. That's your average. Now, module 5, 6, and so forth on, if you watched my other video, which I sure hope you have for module 5, the textbook activities are uploaded in Moodle. We have transitioned to uploading just the textbook activities into Moodle. So once you've uploaded the Moodle, move on. Now, because I have to manually go back and grade those, I try to let everybody have an opportunity to upload those, and it takes me a while to grade those. So don't wait for me to grade them before you move on. By the time you've done the training and the two projects, you should be pretty apt in knowing what to do with those. I go in there and I grade all of them kind of one-time deal, and then I transfer the grades over into the same grade book, and then you'll see the scores. When I grade them, if there's not a textbook assignment there, I enter a zero. And then I want to go into SAM, I enter a zero. And that will affect your grade. So if your averages right now are low, we need to fix that. All right? Um, so modules one through six are basically should have been done by the end of the day today. And then um, next week, let's look at the um, Moodle course. Because again, no surprises here. You should see that seven, eight, and the capstone projects for five, six, seven, and eight should be done by next week. Starting next week, you have a little break because we have the 4th of July week off. Now, I didn't assign anything for the 4th of July week, and some of you are going to need to not take as much of a vacation as others because you haven't completed everything. Now, the 4th of July week, the campus is closed, email shut down, I can't help you as much, not to say I won't help you, but I am off the clock. So, work as much as you can throughout next week, so when you get the 4th of July week, you can either stay off the internet, or you can get ahead um, on modules 9, 10, 11, and 12. I made the whole course visible, everything you can do in SAM, heck, you could do the entire course over the 4th of July week and be done with the class. Wouldn't that be great? All right, so email me with your questions, get that work turned in. If you see a low average in your grade book, there you go. You shouldn't be emailing me and asking me, what's my score? Not that you can't, but you shouldn't have to because it's in SAM. And if you ask me, which assignments have I not turned in? It's gonna tell you right here which assignments you have zeros on. You can go to activity list. You can see which assignments you haven't turned in. So do that, all right? And you have a good, good week. And I hope that you all have a good 4th of July week also.